Bonjour, je m'appelle Leah. And je m'appelle Sharon. We're three days away from spring here in northern Michigan, although it doesn't look like it. At least we have sunshine today. In northern France, spring is arriving right on schedule, while we'll be waiting a few more weeks for it here in northern Michigan. So today we're enjoying springtime in Normandy in our imaginations. Fun fact, we're actually south of northern France. We're on the 45th parallel while Rouen, the capital of Normandy, is just above the 49th parallel. Today we're showing you some of the foods you might find in Haute Normandy, that's Upper Normandy. Normandy in general is known for apples and dairy. Two of its most famous products are Camembert cheese and Calvados, which is an apple brandy. We'll be getting to those in a future episode. First, let's learn the word for cow in French, vache. Good to know if you're in Normandy, which has given the world this breed of cow that excels in milk production. But the Normans do some interesting things with milk as well. They have this famous dish called turgoule, which is a rice pudding that looks like a creme brulee because it cooks for several hours in the oven and forms a crust. And then there's milk jam. It's called confiture de lait, and it involves cooking milk with sugar and vanilla for a very long time, like hours. I had the patience to do it once. After about three hours of cooking on very low heat, stirring frequently, the result was this caramel-like concoction that can be spread on toast or, bien sûr, apples. The Normans may eat it on toast made from this bread called pain brie. This is not to be confused with brie, the cheese. In this case, brie is taken from the old Nor Norman verb brie, which means to pound. And that's exactly what you do to make the bread. After you've <laughs> let the dough rise overnight, you put it on a board and go primal on it with a mallet or rolling pin. Regarde. I'd like to point out here that the Normans are descended from Viking raiders. But there's a reason behind this dough violence. The seafaring people needed a bread that would keep, and beating out the air pockets makes for a dense crumb that does, not, does the trick. Unfortunately, it didn't keep for long at our house. That's because it was so good. As always, you can find recipes on our website at twofems.com. If you're joining us for the first time and want to know why we're sitting in our house in Michigan telling you about good things to eat in France, we made a playlist for you. Click on Playlist on our channel page and you can watch the Proust Project from the beginning. Or just watch the Proust Project launch video which explains it all. Also, if you haven't already, click subscribe, s'il vous plaît. C'est gratuit. Thank you for joining us. À la prochaine. À la prochaine.